been a few days, hasn't it? So, we're going to do something fun today. Today, we're going to have a little break of the mind doing something called precognition. Now, we've talked about remote viewing before, and it's something I enjoy, so I thought I would share it here with you. It can be fun. It's a bit of practice for me, and you get to see something different. What do you think? Sounds fun. Now, I do want to put a disclaimer here. Testing it out. <laughs> oh, what's that? Psy Divine and the Remote View. Now, let's move in. This is ddrl.us and on this site you can do a bit of precognitive viewing and it can be interesting to see if you can connect and sometimes there's nothing to connect to so let me explain what you're looking at on the left side the gray box is where your target image will appear and over on your right, the big white area is where you can draw what you believe is in the gray area. And you can write out a few notes if you want. When you're done drawing, in order to see the target, you simply have to press the button that says next target. If you are correct, you'll see a picture like as I look now I feel yellows yellows of course I could be being highly influenced by my screensaver which has yellow on it but whatevs <laughs> let's just see what happens here yellows Okay, now normally I would try to draw something here, but since we just got started, uh, there's nothing to draw, I just said it. <laughs> so, you don't get everything right, but as the practice session goes on, when you see my horrific drawings and some of my notes, you may see some things that compare and match. Some things don't work at all. Sometimes, when you're viewing, especially things like this, you can even see things that might have been around the picture. For me, the stuff like, you know, the sun or a light bulb. And when they are professionally captured images, yeah, sometimes you may see the setting around. Alright? But ideally, we're trying to describe whatever image, person, place, thing, whatever, that will be hidden in the green, a gray area. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's get started. So, I feel something with curves and something here. There's a ground here yeah. and square. So, here in the notes. I can write curves. I can spell it incorrectly too. <laughs> curves. Square. Centered. 
mend. Orange round. So that's my guess. And let's see what we got. Now, <laughs> so it's a sign. We can see the road up ahead that bends. And a big ass sign in the middle. <laughs> Excuse my language. Sorry about that. We see the oranges, the browns, and the square that is centered. Now you can see, if you just looked at my drawing, you'd be like, none of that matches. <laughs> and I messed up here. The pencil sometimes sticks, which makes this bad thing. So... I don't know. What do you think? Did you think I got anything right here? Let's move on. Ugh, it's sticking again. again. Ugh. I'm feeling deliver, go through, something that tough and man-made. Um, I'm naming blue, but I'm feeling an outside influence from the blue. Something man made. Let's see. Deliver, go through. Well, I sure didn't see all that red. Structure, something man made. Deliver. I don't know what that is. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't, I'm guessing this is a religious altar, um, dedication to, uh, tribute for art. I see the oval shapes and the sign, or the wall behind it. Mm. Interesting. I guess this is the uh, wall piece, whatever that is. What do you think? Let's move on to the next one. And this is interesting for me because right now I'm not feeling so well and feeling tense. Lots of tension. Nervous and upset tension. So... Working with different energy sometimes, well, no, all the time, can yield a different result. My first guess would have been that I would connect to nothing. So, let's see what we get next. Feel something uh, that has angles and depth. All I get out of this is depth, distance, browns, but 
more so old, dusty, old. There's a nature aspect to it, as well as something man-made. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we've got a statue of a lion. But hard to know if it's a statue or like a figurine, which would indicate two different sizes. But we see the angle, the angle type of situation here. We've got our object in the middle. Depth and distance maybe is more of a feeling. We've got browns. Dusty. Could be. And I got nature and man-made, so that would work. I don't know. What do you think? Did I connect? Alright, moving on to the next one. Feel something surrounded tops. I don't know. This one, I don't, I don't feel good here. Okay. So, that, I guess this is my mind's eye in the drawing of that. <laughs> so, we've got rounded tops. Greenish grays. Uh, okay. It's a thing that's man made. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I c connected very well here. Let's try it again. This is something man made for comfort. And colorful, meaning there's a lot of colors there. <laughs> so you can see here the yeah. app. No connection. Submarine, I feel chair. Some place to sit. Uh, I get the man made. 
I've never been inside a submarine, so I can't say if they're comfortable or not. I'm sure you sit in them. Sure you rest and relax in them too. Whatever. That was wrong. Anyways, let's move on. Okay, here. Um, perch build on top structure not complete uh, graze hard can be dangerous. Let's see what we got. <laughs> I'm not sure where I'm getting danger from, but I do see a structure. Uh, when you build on top, who knows if it's complete? I don't see grays. It is hard. I don't know about the danger. I don't know. I don't feel like I connected with that one. Let's try the next one. Path. Okay. Yeah. This looks like a float. Looks like one of those uh, floats in the holiday parades. Which would travel, pass through. I don't know if my cone is a beak. But it would travel. It would have direction. Maybe the rules and the animal. That's a duck. Natural. Because the, if it is one of these floats. A lot of these floats are made out of flowers. And it would have a path. Hmm. I don't know. I know my drawings are horrible. <laughs> I know that much. Okay, let's try another one. Hmm. 